The welcome screen automatically displays when you first start Vericut and provides access to commonly used first actions for a Vericut session. The toolbar provides quick access to many CG Tech sites and information. From this screen you can quickly open saved Vericut template files, start a new project, open an existing project, or select a project from a list of recently opened projects. The welcome screen also provides access to Vericut training sessions and videos. Clicking on a training session will open the training session's PDF file and then load the project file required by that training session. Also available on this screen is a link to the Vericut samples document providing information about each of the Vericut sample files. Vericut's desktop has been enhanced with a new docking method. Through the use of dockable panels, you can personalize your workspace to match the process by which you use Vericut's many features, as well as incorporating your own personal preferences. You can set up your workspace to be as simple or as complex as you choose. Vericut's dockable panels have three possible states. Overlay, Floating, or Docked. In addition to these three states, any dockable panel can be configured to have multiple tabs, allowing you to see all the information you want and at the same time giving you more real estate to see what's happening in the simulation. The layout and the last location of any docked panels are saved in the user's preference file. With the addition of the view cube, view orientation is now much easier to manipulate directly from Vericut's desktop. The cube tracks the rotation of the view that is currently active, so when you rotate the view, the cube updates, and vice versa. The cube itself uses the faces, edges, and corners as hotspots, allowing you to quickly adjust your machine or workpiece view. There are three icons in the display cube window. The home icon allows you to specify a view as a front view. The new front view will be applied to all active views. It also enables you to specify a view orientation to represent a home view, which you can then return to with a single mouse click. Once in an orthogonal view, additional controls appear in the form of arrows. These arrows allow you to adjust your view in 90 degree increments. The rotational increment icon allows you to set a rotational increment that you want to use when rotating. The Save Layouts icon allows you to capture, edit, and remove layouts. We simply set the views as desired and then capture a layout, which we can then return to quickly. Tool Manager's desktop and user interface has been completely redesigned to enable easier user interaction. A new toolbar consists of a combination of icons and pull-down menus providing easy access to all features needed to create and maintain tool libraries. Tool components now have a parent-child hierarchy allowing for better tool assembly management and modification. When a new tool is added to the tool list, the tool is created with default holder and cutter components and arranged in the new parent-child hierarchy. When tool definition windows are needed, they now replace the center section of the tool manager window. The appropriate tool definition window is automatically displayed when a cutter or holder component is highlighted in the tool list. All tool definition windows have been redesigned to make tool definition easier. Reamer tools are now supported in Tool Manager. They are accessible in the new homemaking tool type which also consists of drills, center drills, and taps. This new tool type better aligns with current CAD CAM systems and tools in the machine shop. A new standard tools feature in the whole making tool definition window displays a list of standard tools. The list is populated from the information provided in the CSV formatted file. A tool record populates the necessary fields. A new Novo Canometto tool import interface window 
enables you to easily download Kenametal 3D tool models from the machining cloud and quickly transfer them to Vericut's tool library. The status panel has been completely redesigned for better viewing, customization and size. The information displayed in the status panel is divided into information groups, each containing a specific list of information and is completely configurable. You have the ability to choose which information groups you want displayed and which items you want displayed in each group. You also have the ability to display the information groups in any order that you choose. The status window can be displayed in either a vertical or horizontal orientation. When simulating multi-channel machines, you can now display the status information for the multiple subsystems at the same time. The Favorites panel has been enhanced. This panel enables you to quickly access frequently used directories and files without using a file selection window. Now by default, the entire collection of Vericut sample files are loaded into the Favorites panel, allowing you to quickly find and load a sample file. Setting up your Favorites is much easier now with the new Include Subdirectories option, enabling you to specify a directory and have all its subdirectories scanned for Vericut files to load into this panel. Another new feature with this panel is that you can now open a favorite by just double-clicking on it, or as in past versions, using the drag-and-drop option. A new settings window has been introduced to house the contents of a previous collection of windows into a single tabbed window in one easy-to-find location. The features on the settings window enable you to set properties for the verification session, set up or view Vericut's many output files, specify machine overrides, and configure Vericut to automatically save files and output reports. Well, that's it. For information on these or any of the other many new features in Vericut 7.4, see the Vericut help.